Okay, so let's take a look at question eight, where we're asked to essentially kind of do like a proof that talks about how does the ratio of area and volume change when we are doubling essentially the length of, of an object. Okay, so we're dealing with a rectangular prism, which is a little bit of a harder object to work with. Um, they could have simplified this question if they just said it was a cube, but we'll work with what they've given us here. So the first thing I wanna do is sketch out a little diagram of a prism rectangular prism. So the features with this is that the rectangular prism has a certain length, width, and height, and they could be the same if it was a cube, but because we're not told that, we have to assume that they're all different. Okay, so each one of those is going to have its own specific value. So how do we calculate the area of a rectangular prism? So Again, we're talking about surface area. So we'll call this surface area and I'm gonna call this surface area one. And surface area of a prism has six sides to it, right? Um, essentially there's three separate sides, but we double each one because there's, there's two equivalent faces. So we could start by saying that it's two times the length times the width face. Okay, so the length times the width in this diagram would be the bottom, but because it's the same as the top, we, we double it. Then we have to do two times the width times the height face. Okay, there's a front and a back to that. And then there's two times the length times the height face. So that would be um, the expression we would get when we calculate the surface area. So then the question says, what happens if we double the length? So we'll just, just follow up with another little sketch here. I'm not gonna draw it to scale, but I'm gonna mark it a little bit differently. So if we double the length and we go from L to twice the length, we can say that's 2L, okay? And we have to double everything. So it's two, two times the width and two times the height. So then we have the surface area number two here. So remember, surface area is the, it's the, the area of one of the faces, but we have to double it because we have, um, we have two of those faces. But what we end up with in this expression is we still have two faces, but now the length is a double, 2L, and the width is double, so we write it as 2W. Okay, so essentially it's the same kind of question except everything is times two in the expression. Okay, so it's um, 2w, 2h, 2l, and 2h. So when we work this out, we've got a couple more numbers here that we can simplify, which we couldn't do in the first one. So two times two times two is going to give you eight lw, eight wh, and eight lh. That will give us the value of surface area two. Okay, so now if you think about, if you look at this, this, these expressions here, surface area one is just simply two LW and surface area two is eight LW. So how do you make, how do you go from surface area one to surface area two? How do we go from a two LW to an eight LW? Okay, it's simply a factor of four. So if we were to work this out, let me just write it out, move it over to the side here. We're gonna say, we're going to take the ratio of surface area two, which is the bigger number over surface area one. Okay, we're going to write this as eight LW plus eight WH plus eight LH all over two LW, two WH and two LH. Okay, so this is our expression. Now, can we simplify this? Okay, so you have to think back about how we look at factoring terms. So there is a common factor that we can take out of here. We can take out a four out of the top equation. Okay, so if I do a four, I'm simply left with two LW plus two WH plus two LH. And then we divide that by the same term on the bottom. Okay, so the strategy here is I wanna get these two terms to cancel out. So we just put them in a different color here and mark it through. The top term and the bottom term will cancel because they're identical. So this means that the surface area is equal to the number four, or we can say four over one. So the surface area for two compared to the surface area for one is equal to four. 
This means that if we double the length of a prism, the surface area grows by four. Okay, so double the length, okay, the area goes up by a factor of four. So it goes four times as much. Okay, so that is what the ratio is that they're trying to to get you to understand here is that if we double it for length, the area is going to go up by a factor of four. Okay, it's actually two squared. It's going up by the square of the amount that you doubled. In the, but in this case, that would be four. So if we look at the volume, volume is actually gonna be a little bit easier to work with. Um, we do volume one. Okay, so volume is just simply length, width, and height. Okay, and then volume two is going to be two L times two W times 2h, which is equal to 8lwh. So right away, this is a simpler expression, but if we were to do the same thing, volume two over volume one, we would get 8lwh over just lwh. So again, that term will cancel, and we're left with just the value of eight over one. So this tells us that if the length doubles, if we double all the dimensions, the, val the volume increases by a factor of eight. Okay, so if we double our, our length and our width and our height, we are going to get the volume increase, okay, by factor of eight. So it can, it's times eight, eight times as much. Okay, so that, and that, that's actually two cubed. So that means that the volume is going to increase by the cube of the factor. So that's how you would prove these two questions when they don't give you any numbers, but you kind of have to work through them. Um, and you're just ending up to seeing what those ratios are. All right, so hopefully that makes a little bit of sense. It's a little bit more of um, kind of a theoretical question because you're not given numbers, but you're asked to prove uh, what happens to the ratio of, of a shape in a sp object or the space of an object um, if you double its linear dimension? What, how does that affect its area and then how does that affect its volume?